Harley Quinn is one of the most famous female DC comic book characters. In fact, next to Wonder Woman, I'd say she's currently the most famous. She is a wild and free-spirited character who is also beautiful, so it's no surprise to hear that she's had her fair share of lovers. And this video is going to go over them all. Let's start with the one we all know, the Joker. When it comes to Harley Quinn's lovers, first and foremost is the Joker, which makes sense as Harley didn't actually originate in the comics. Harley Quinn's character was actually created for the TV show Batman the Animated Series, and she was made simply to be the Joker's girlfriend, so having him as her first lover is no surprise to anyone. And though it is hard to tell if the Joker is actually interested in sex, Don't you want to rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom! <laughs> there is certainly enough proof that the two of them have been together. We know they have been together in at least three continuities. In the Batman White Knight series, is made apparent they've had a sex life. And in the Batman Beyond series, he has grandkids from Harley Quinn. Break a grandmother's heart! I hope they throw the book at you! Oh, shut up, Nana Harley. And finally, in the Injustice video game series, he and Harley Quinn have a daughter together. Hopefully being good will stick long term. Till I'm sure, my kid Lucy's still gonna know me as her crazy Aunt Harleen. Maybe someday I can give her the real scoop. After the Joker, there is Harley Quinn's second long-time love, Poison Ivy. The two haven't always been in a relationship in every version of the characters, but they are always close in every version. And in some cases, such as the Injustice universe and Harley Quinn's own comic book series, the two are in an on-again, off-again relationship, or could better be described as friends with benefits, who don't get jealous about the other lovers that they have. And the two of them being together actually makes Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy one of the few bisexual characters in the main DC continuity. And in Harley Quinn's miniseries, Harley Quinn's Little Black Book, each issue essentially involves her having an adventure with someone that she wants to hook up with or has a crush on. And in it, she meets some of DC's biggest names and ends up kissing Green Lantern, the Hal Jordan version, and an alternate version of herself, though she doesn't sleep with either of them. She has also kissed Batman in the past. And though she and Batman haven't gone any further than a kiss so far, she has also kissed Bruce Wayne, and later on told Batman that Bruce Wayne is actually a better kisser than he is. She has also revealed that she has a bit of a crush on Wonder Woman, though who doesn't? And she tries to save her by knocking her out, undressing her, and leaving her naked in a bathtub, and then she puts on Wonder Woman's outfit and tricks the bad guys into thinking she's Wonder Woman, and then they attack her, and she finds out that she's outgunned, because they've of course come expecting to fight Wonder Woman, and have much bigger weapons than Harley Quinn is capable of defending against. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman wakes up in the bathtub, realises she's naked, and puts on Harley Quinn's outfit, as there's no other clothes around, and then rushes in to save Harley Quinn. And later, the two get drunk in a bar in London, and Wonder Woman does end up carrying a drunk Harley Quinn home with her. Whether anything happened between the two is up to you. It could be a hookup or it could be innocent, and Harley Quinn just crashed on Wonder Woman's couch. Though both of them are bisexual, so anything could have happened. And in the Zatanna guest issue, she meets a handsome magical entity who has a crush on her, and they agree that she will live with him for 30 days as part of a contract. Though she ends up being too much for him and is released in less than 24 hours. But the two flirt enough that we know they like each other, and it is possible that they spent at least some of that time in the bedroom. And it's never fully explained why she is too much for him. All we know is that when she is transported back home, she says, let's do it again, and this time with more spikes and a big rubber. And she stops at this point. So it's left to our imaginations as to what exactly this big rubber something is. Also in the series, she ends up marooned on a planet with Lobo. Both of them end up naked together due to burning up upon entering the planet's atmosphere, and they spend pretty much the whole issue naked together and flirting non-stop. They get pretty close several times until they end up spending some alone time behind a waterfall. It's not made perfectly clear whether they hook up or not, they may have just kissed, but they certainly had the chance, and the two of them aren't exactly the types to not take the opportunity. And in the film Batman Assault on Arkham, Harley Quinn has broken up with the Joker and she has been acquired by Amanda Waller to be on the Suicide Squad. Crap! Not this again! And she develops a bit of a crush on Deadshot, who is also on the squad. 
Now, Deadshot doesn't seem interested for the most part, but when he goes to his bed one night, he finds that she is waiting for him there, completely naked. And he figures, Oh, what the hell. And the two spend the night together. And speaking of the Suicide Squad, she also develops a crush on Colonel Rick Flagg, who is that version of the Suicide Squad's leader. And he actually develops feelings for her as well, and eventually the two can't take it anymore, and they hook up with one another, both finding a moment solace in a very bad situation. But unfortunately, very shortly after this, Colonel Rick Flagg sacrifices himself to stop an army of Kryptonians from escaping the Phantom Zone and conquering the world with General Zod as their leader which unfortunately ended what looked like the beginning of a serious relationship between the two of them. Which is a shame, as I personally would have actually been interested in seeing how this played out. And in Harley's solo series, she also starts dating Mason McCarb, a criminal who escapes prison at first, then goes back and is put in Arkham Asylum this time, and then Harley breaks him out and he goes into witness protection. Then later on still, he is brought back into Harley's life and the two start dating. One of the best parts of her dating Mason is that she is putting the Joker behind her and moving on with another serious relationship. And when Mason is put in Arkham Asylum, the Joker is in the cell next to him, and she confronts him and gives him the beatdown he deserves for everything that he did to her. It's similar to the confrontation the two have in Batman Assault on Arkham, only more brutal. And in the film Batman and Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy is being pursued by Batman and Nightwing, but unfortunately they can't find her. Check previous addresses, known associates. Oh crap. Right. We need Harley Quinn. So they hunt down Harley Quinn so they can enlist her help in finding Poison Ivy, as the two are very close so she would be the best at finding her. Nightwing eventually manages to track Harley Quinn down, and the first thing they do is fight, which is perfectly natural for superheroes. Though somehow Nightwing loses, and when he wakes up he finds that he has been put in Harley Quinn's bed and tied up. Harley Quinn then strips down to her underwear to get changed, and then figures since he's there, she might as well make use of him. Okay now, don't be getting any funny ideas. Too late. Now, this whole scene is a little bit too much like rape for me, as Nightwing is saying no, but she doesn't listen, and even though Nightwing says, I'm not saying I don't want to, because that could be nice. Right now, I just really need to find poison. I still don't personally like the scene, but it's up to the viewer to decide for themselves, I guess. I have actually already done a video on the issue, so I'm not going to get into it here, but there is a link in this video's description if you're interested. Harley also hooked up with her professor while at university. Her thesis had a low grade, but after seeing the professor, he changed it to an A, and that's certainly one way to get ahead in academia. She is also kidnapped by a vampire who puts her to sleep, then strips her naked and puts her in other clothes, though it appears that nothing else actually happens between the two. And finally, there is the character Red Tool, who features in her solo series. Red Tool is DC's parody of Marvel's Deadpool, which is kind of funny since Marvel actually created Deadpool to be a parody of DC's Deathstroke. So DC have a parody of a character who was ripped off from one of their own characters. It's a little bit complicated. Red Soul hasn't actually been involved with Harley Quinn romantically yet, but he is a regular in the series and he's hopelessly in love with her, and it would be good to see the two together at some point, as I think it'd be an interesting pairing for a relationship. And who knows, if you're watching this far enough in the future, it may have already happened, in which case let us know about it in the comments. And that is everyone that Harley Quinn has hooked up with. Though the character is now insanely popular in media and has a cult following of fans, and as such, she does get around a lot in comics, and she will hook up with new people in the future. So if there is anyone you think I've missed, please let us know in the comments, along with which pairing you like the most out of the ones I've mentioned, and who you think Harley Quinn should be with in the future. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needlemouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us bring you more videos each week, and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.